Right. I spent the day <coughs> stripping all that off. All that front. No cow off. No that off. And all across the front. <coughs> Last night I made the decision that this is the only car I'm gonna build up. If this is stuffed beyond repair, which I I doubt it would be, but if that is absolutely stuffed beyond repair, I'm not gonna build this one up. Because it it just looks like it has been patched over patched over patch, over patch, over patch. There'd be a lot of work in this car to get it to the standard that I want. Like, just everywhere I look would need work. And it, it, would, it could take years and it's probably not worth it. So I made the decision last night that I'd rather save up get that chassis fixed using all the parts from this front end to get that back good than the previous idea that was to grab all that and put it on this one. I'm not going to build this one up, it's horrendous. <laughs> Apart from most of the front, I'm not going to say all the front, but most of this front, it's pretty horrendous from, from the firewall back. And I just don't see the point in pulling all the good parts off this and putting them on this one when you'd spend more time and a shitload more money getting this to be the level that I want. It'd be easier to do this one. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I've found that you can get new, new ones of these online. I did not know that before. New ones of these frame rails and you get obviously a new cross member so I'll probably get those three sent over from overseas just so then I know they're 100% right so at least when I'm getting that chassis all fixed the parts that are going on are going to be 100% brand new I'll keep these ones as backup, these rails and this cross member in case the aftermarket ones don't exactly fit um, yeah, the, these, these panels alone were worth 1500 bucks because they are nice. There's a little bit of a fix down here, but they've actually done not a bad job. So all in all, these panels are pretty good. Whole front end's pretty good compared to what I had. This one here, there's sort of a bit of rippling there. It's a bit of a dent there. Um, bit of a dent down there. Easy stuff to fix. So both these panels, the whole front end of this is going to go on there. I'm not doing this one. Right this is too far gone. I also realised that um, I think these panels here. I'm not sure if you can see it. These. These panels here that have been welded in on both sides, you can see that one over there. I thought that originally because there was a massive rust hole there. But I think because these bolts are here, I think that's actually where they bolted the roll cage. So they're just putting stiffening, stiffening, stiffening plates in there. So I have a feeling there's no rust in this bottom area, which means I could potentially use this whole floor in mine because if you remember the whole floor of, whole floor and firewall of this this one is stuffed so I think what I might do is I'm going to grind back these panels and see if it is rusty I don't think it is though but I also needed this bit here because on mine down that whole all around the bottom of mine is all rusted out so what I'll probably do is pull this whole section off here put on mine probably chop a lot of this floor out and chop 
chop a length of this frame rail to use on mine because mine's stuffed. And I'm pretty sure those seat rails will fit. If I can take them off, I reckon they'll fit in the driver's side of my other one. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, obviously the other one's got massive holes and the frame rails are stuffed. They're all welded and chopped and googled up. So that, that's where we are. That one's getting done, which means I've got till December to get as much of it as I can done. My aim was to get it done by December, which is its 50th birthday when it was manufactured, but that was before I knew that before I I do like how low this one sits. That looks, that looks mean. You might get mine sitting that low. So that's cool. Alright. The old ultrasonic cleaner is uh, started again because uh, my clutch pedal in this one was a bit mangled, it's sort of been cut and welded and bolt, a bolt was welded onto it obviously to try to guard, guard the cable in better I think maybe that's a issue that those have got, the fork might bend or something um, I did find a clutch pedal I asked the guy how much he wanted for it second hand clutch pedal, 280 bucks so I swiftly told him that uh, he was dreaming, as the saying goes. Luckily with this one, it came with all the pedals, which are currently being cleaned. So I'm going to clean, clean all them off, probably clean them all up, put them in etch primer and a bit of gloss paint. I'll keep the clutch pedal. Um, I don't think I need the other two, so I'll probably put them up for sale pretty cheap so we'll be back on this until uh, the next weekend or the weekend after but uh, I'll be sure to video that with any updates I'm hoping to get this whole engine bay stripped back to metal so I really know what's going on they had these plates they welded these plates in um, apparently to stiffen the, that area um, which is fine, but I don't know what's behind them. Whether, let's see, I can get my finger in there, which isn't good. So, I don't know, I might grind them off, see what's behind them, and then if I really want to stiffen it more, I'll weld them on myself. I'm not saying anything's wrong with these welds, but there's a certain way I like things done. Um, I like things to look totally factory, so I mean, having it ground right back level so unless you're looking for it you wouldn't even realize something's being welded there that's that's just my personal preference to I like like stuff done um, obviously this was a race car so you don't really need to be that delicate about it but now this is going to be my road car so I need to need to just fix a couple of things I think make it the way I want it but that's it.